As I promised you, we were going to talk about that heat wave that is headed our way next week because this high pressure system is moving clockwise and bringing in hot, dry air. So much of the southern parts of Montana moving eastward in this direction. So my friends in Bozeman and Billings throughout the night tonight, you can see those thunderstorms. The advisory is effective until 8 p.m. tonight at Fort Peck Lake. So if you have plans to be out on the lake tonight, you might want to head inside and try that again maybe tomorrow. It's the fire in Wenatchee and the fire in Cle Ellum. So so let's zoom in here real quick. You can see that wind gusts can get up to about 20 miles per hour. So we're watching the winds very closely. Not too much of a concern. We're going to have breezy conditions throughout the afternoon and those pop up showers headed their way for our Sunday evening at 4 p.m. You can see those cells making their way down south and clearing out low pressure sitting aloft with the high pressure at the surface, drawing in lots of hot and dry air, making all the ingredients susceptible for wildfire danger. Time for our first forecast. This on the first day of hurricane season, but it doesn't look like we're getting a hurricane today. Tania, what can we expect? Hi, yes, yeah, so I'm standing outside right now. Mild conditions. We're talking in the 70s. Light breeze out here, fairly comfortable. If you look outside right now, you see that the sun is trying to peek through the clouds. We've got light cloud coverage, but we may have a slight chance for rain later this evening. So if you're headed out, have a light jacket. The temperature is likely to drop a little bit, but I have good news. Warmer weather for us coming this weekend and more about the Atlanta hurricane season right here. Stay tuned. More on this weather forecast at 445. To our five day forecast you can see right here. Take a look at what your weather is looking like for the rest of this weekend. Clear skies headed our way for Sunday and Monday before we see another chance of rain early next week. They're moving westward now to explain why they're moving westward in just a couple of seconds. But for the most part, the reason why winds are a big concern is because it's moving these fires and causing them to just spread. And not only that, when fire spread, it puts residential areas in danger and communities. So we are paying close attention to those wildfires. But for the reason why those winds are moving westward is because we have this low pressure sitting aloft with the high pressure at the surface, drawing in lots of hot and dry air, making all the ingredients susceptible for wildfire danger. So for Pullman at 91 and in Spokane, the low 90s as well. So here's what you can do tomorrow to have some fun outdoors. Take your kids out to the pools and the splash pads. A great way to stay cool is to get wet. Bring those goggles, have some um, pool float out there and not only that you can also take an evening stroll or a hike head out to the parks we've got great national parks here across Washington all over the place so you can get out there and enjoy that I said evening because it won't be as hot or you can go early in the morning another thing you can do is plan for an outdoor picnic have some food maybe go grab some ice cream another great way to stay cool I love ice cream <laughs> but for the most part this week is looking really nice Monday mostly clear skies by Tuesday we're in the mid 90s at 90 95 degrees, cooling down there by Thursday at 88 degrees. The CDC raises its alert to level the recent widespread of monkeypox. While they are not on the level of COVID-19, they are recommending travelers to wear masks. There have been 21 recorded cases of monkeypox in the U.S. connected to the outbreak that has been reported in several other countries. Coming up on NCC News, President Biden says he has a quick solution for the baby formula shortage. It's been 50 years since the Title IX law passed in the United States. Our Caitlin McCarthy has more on what Title IX means to girls and women in central New York. Caitlin. But students of color in North Carolina say police presence leaves them feeling unsafe. Our 33 year old researcher from Glasgow, Dr. Donna Keene, is working to get rats up to speed. The rats will wear backpacks with microphones so rescue teams can communicate to survivors during real earthquakes. The project is called dun -dun -dun, Hero Rats. So far, seven rats have been trained and it's only taken them two weeks to understand their assignment. Up next, a look at some news you need to know that you can only find on NCC News Online. All that and more coming up next after the break. Let's take a quick walk through the wild. If these trees were to catch fire and I inhaled the smoke, I'd be putting my body in extreme harm. You see, smoke in the air is not good for the heart or the lungs. Some other ways you can prepare for wildfires are to back your car in your driveway for easy evacuation, have an emergency kit on hand and ready, and move all combustible items away from your home. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Tania Michelle, KHQ Local News. I'm gonna get sick. 
Michelle Matlock and her husband say they are in need of a safe home. And I've got to get out of here and as soon as possible. On June 4th, the Matlocks almost lost everything, waking up to massive flames coming out of the roof of their Spokane Valley apartment building. Yeah. I had no time to do really anything. I mean, it was like, this is real, get out. The place is burning down. They are alive and say they're grateful for that, but their home is not the same. Smoke from the fire fills the air of their apartment, and they tell me that it makes it hard to breathe, sleep, and live life as normal. Adding to their issues, Mrs. Matlock is disabled and just had surgery. <laughs> With her living conditions, she says she is unable to recover like she should. They've been looking for a new home, but have had very little options. They're booked up. Uh, like so, a month or two. So a month or two. So finding a home has not been easy. And it's just been hard. But they have faith that things will get better. Could have been, could have been worse, but... You know, what? It's the same thing. That's why we reached out. We just, you know, wanted to see what resources might be available to us. In Spokane Valley, I'm Tania Michelle, KHQ Local News. Now, these tables are stacked, but not for long because this August, Lacey's Tapas Bar will be back open. And not much is going to change. If I flip my camera around right here, you'll see that they're still going to have this section in the restaurant where family and friends can come down, have a seat, and feel at home. Okay, it looks like I got a little too comfortable on that couch in that restaurant. What do you say? <laughs> Just a little bit, but that's what it's for, right? Right. Yeah, who doesn't want to be comfortable while they're having some tapas? So. <laughs> so there's one thing on the menu that I thought was so interesting. The owner said his favorite menu on the um, his favorite item on the menu is the mac and cheese egg rolls. Okay, so who's gonna try it? I'm I'm there. I'm I have it, but I'm a sauce girl. So is there a sauce included? Oh, what no. are we talking? Maybe you should go and find out. I think I will actually. What, <laughs> what about, about you? you we got football season around the corner that's remind me of some tailgating food so i might have to get some for you know the right. local football tailgate Critzia will bring the sauce <laughs> okay. so today's an opportunity for everyone to practice generosity and kindness it's world caring day with all that's going on in the world a little love can go a long way a quick call to a friend a quick check-in to your neighbor or even holding the door for a stranger are some little acts of care Yesterday, I needed a ride home from school and Shannon gave me a ride. And recently, I was hungry just today and my friend came and brought me some snacks. So anything, anything at all, lend a helping hand. We can always use that. And I actually have something for my co-anchor right here. No way. Dun, da, da, da. It's, a, ah. it's a flower, some kind of flower. It's, it's, it's a flower. Yeah, it's, it's giving me flower. Hawaiian vibes it, for it the is summer. It is Hawaiian <laughs> breeze. This was very caring of you on <laughs> National Caring Day. I appreciate I try, it. I try. Now I feel bad I didn't get you a flower. It's okay, your smile was enough. Okay, Aww, I appreciate that. <laughs> well, that's the news for this afternoon. For today's stories and more, visit our website at nccnewsonline.com or follow us on Twitter at NCC News Online. I'm Morgan Scott. And I'm Tania Michelle. Have a safe weekend and good evening.